In this video, we're constructing this sled that will hold the electronics for a two-stage rocket. And right after these announcements, I'll show you how I'm going to put it into the rocket. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. We're building the Sandhawk, which is a upper stage on a two-stage rocket. And we're the part where our sled, which is this part here, and the engine mount are dry. Everything's hard. All the epoxy's hard that we did earlier. And now we're going to get ready to install it into the body tube. Um, my first step is I want to sand out this back edge. And the reason for that is when the this is the coupler that holds the stages together at this transition. Um, I want this to be as smooth and easy fit as I can get because I do want it to drag separate, which means that as the rocket takes off and when the motor burns out on the booster stage, I want the whole booster to just slide off as quickly as possible and allow this to coast before the upper stage ignites. Otherwise, it's going to toast this pretty good. Um, so I want this to be a nice slip fit, so I just want to sand out that inside. And I've got to do that now because when this goes in, I'm not going to be able to get sandpaper in there after the motor tube is in there because there's so little room around there. So I have to do it now. Um, and I'm also going to seal that cardboard with some thin super glue. As you can see, I'm just saturating the fibers with the super glue. This is thin. Wipe it off, and it's just going to take a couple of seconds for it to kick off and harden. It's already hard. I'm going to resand it. Okay, at this point I want to test fit this again. Now when this goes in, the back edge is going to hang out just a little bit and that's so that I can wrap tape around to hold that back motor in. Um, and then this centering ring here on the back is going to go just in front of the slots on the tube so you can kind of see how much is going to stick out right now. Uh, that's just enough to where I can get tape on it to hold it in. And then this front centering ring, if that one's right here, the back one's going to go approximately an inch and a quarter inside of here. So to put, to glue this all together, I'm going to use epoxy. And from this end, I'm going to use a stick and put it in right up in front of that, um, the slots. And then from this side, I'm going to, I'm going to pour it in from this side and just smear it around with my finger. Um, and I'm going to use the rocket epoxy for this, and I've used this in a number of other videos. This is a two-part epoxy, and it's really thick, so when you put it in there, it stays put. It doesn't ooze around a lot. It's got a little bit of sink to it. I mean, it will, it will flow a little bit, but not a lot. Um, and it's really strong. And so right now, I'm going to pause here. And I'll start mixing up epoxy, and then I'll be back, and I'll go ahead and glue this up. All right, I got my epoxy mixed up. I got a little stick here. Uh, one of the things I want to do is just to put a little epoxy underneath that groove right there. Just to kind of um, force that 
straw to stay in place so that it's not wiggling around as we're putting the, the wiring through the igniter. Now it just wants to roll. I don't want it to roll, so I'll just block it like that. And then on this end, I'm going to take some and I'm going to put some in under here. I may have to use my finger because I don't know if I can get in all the way. but not on the top. Okay, now I'm going to slide this in. Oops, wrong way. All right, so now the tray, I want the tray up. As I'm sliding it in. Okay, and I'm watching where that centering ring is here on the front. Okay, so now that's the right spot. So now in here I gotta rotate it around so that this is flat. Okay. I can't see my straw in there. So now getting at that back center ring, that's going to be a chore. Um, what I think is going to happen is I'll, I'll pour it into the slot when I put the fins in, and that will hold that back centering ring in there. Uh, for now, um, I'll, I want to put epoxy all along the joints inside of here to hold this in place. But as you can see, my tray is flexing a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it using just super glue until I can epoxy it in. Okay, so where's my super glue? Okay, and for this I'm going to use thick super glue. I'm not using the thin. I just want to get along that edge there and that edge right there. And then I'll just lift up. Oops, it slid on me. I'm just going to lift up with this finger here. I'm going to hit it with some kicker. Come on, kicker. There it comes. All right, that's good. Okay, Oop, stay there. Just need a little bit more glue. I can give you more glue. Just want to hold you there until it grabs. epoxy. Now I want to do inside of here too, but be very careful of that um, hole there for the straw. We don't want to clog that. Let 
think it's going to be faster and less, less messy if I use my finger. Remember I said I wanted, a, I wanted to slather epoxy everywhere around in there? Well, that's what I'm doing now. And I got probably a good 30 to 40 minutes of working time here. I mean, not 40, but good 30. So I can still actually clean it up too. And I can actually put epoxy on this side too. So I got way too much, much epoxy here. You gotta be very careful of that hole there. Alright. Alright, so now I think I got enough epoxy, so I'm gonna clean up. Uh, that's why I have the rubbing alcohol here. The rubbing alcohol kind of cuts it so that it just wipes off. So any mess you make, go ahead and clean that up. And in our next video, we'll continue working on the Sandhawk sustainer. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue. May all your rockets fly straight and true.